Yo guys, uh, what is going on? Welcome back to another video now. It's <clears throat> half past ten in the morning. The reason why the hair's not done is because I just got out of bed no, no longer than an hour ago. Today is a special occasion. It's AJT's birthday, the day we have turned 24. Uh, a year ago today, we were sitting on double figures, um, subscriber-wise. We were actually sitting on, I think it was around either 97, 98 sort of um, number. And you look at, you know, obviously, you know what I mean, you look at today, and we're on 1,199 subscribers, one away from 1.2k. Um, a goal, I never thought I'd hit this early in YouTube, I'll be completely honest. But, you know, we're about to hit it, so, yeah, say, thank you all, very much for the support, and it'll be my birthday, and I see that figure, it makes me very, very happy, uh, to know that I've got great people that support me on the channel. Uh, it's as I've always said before, you know, even if you're not subscribed and you watch the channel, uh, and, you know, and if you support me, you're always considered a legend, man. You're always considered a legend in my eyes because you let me live out my dream of doing YouTube. And I can't thank you enough. But today we have Accurate Stanley versus Middlesbrough the preview tomorrow. I can't wait. I will be there. Um, it took a little bit of time to get to my first pre-season game. But I'm going to be there tomorrow. Interview on Butterfan TV afterwards as well. My first one of the season. So make sure you check that one out. And yeah, overall, I cannot wait just to go and watch the boys again. So it's been since May. It's been a bit of time. And I'm just overall really excited, uh, mostly for this game. I know it's only pre-season, but you know, you know, it's you know, it's that feeling of going to watch a team again. So can't wait, man! Absolutely buzzing. Got a few things I could stand as well. You know, what I mean, yeah, they aren't they aren't a bad footballing club to be honest with you. Won the league last year, obviously in League Two, smashed the league, came first. Now in League One, I uh, say, man, so decent for them. Do you know, congratulations them for obviously getting to League One. They're going to play in teams like Sunderland. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I say we see how that one goes through, but obviously we're back in accurate standing as soon as I play them on that day. But obviously let's get into them. So manager John Coleman, know a little bit about him. He was at Rochdale for the time as well. I know briefly a little bit on John Coleman. I have to do some more research. That's if I absolutely want to. Um, the stadium. Now I've seen two different names for it. But this is the name it gave me it was the Wham Stadium. That might have changed over the years. Um, but I say as far as I know. That's what it says the stadium's called, and they were founded back in 1968. So I say, man, they've been a football club for a few years, a few years, not too long, but like I say, a fair few years. But in terms of Akron Stanley, I can't wait to go there. I really can't wait. You know, obviously, you know, it's a new stadium for me to go and visit. A capacity of 5,000, I believe it is, and 2,000 are seated. Tomorrow, I believe, Borough fans, I think there's going to be 2,000 Borough fans in Akron Stanley tomorrow. So no doubt we will bring the atmosphere, friendly or not. Do you know what I mean? When there's 2,000 Borough fans there, you're going to get some noise, so can't wait for this one, I really am buzzing for it, um, you know, so it's going to be great, uh, last season, uh, I should say, I should say, last, last Saturday, Huddersfield went down to Akron Stanley, I think they pretty much played a decent team, I thought it looked like, I thought it looked like they had full 11, to be honest, um, they actually ended up um, losing, 3-0, Akron Stanley smashed them, I remember watching the game, watching the highlights, yeah, did them 3-0, Decent result for Akron Stanley, you know, a lot of confidence has gone straight in time after that result, you know, let's be fair to Premier League teams, after beating that Premier League team, 3-0, uh, that's obviously going to make them morale on the camp, confidence, they're going to take confidence, there's going to be a lot of positivity this week, uh, leading up to the Borough game, so, no doubt, you know what I mean, no doubt they're going to see Middlesbrough and see it as a pre-season friendly again, I think, well, you know, last week we took on a Premier League team, we beat them 3-0, let's see them do this into Borough, so, you know, it's going to be tough, it's going to be difficult, but, you know, we're about, we're, we're, well, I think we're about, what, two weeks away now from the start of the season, Millwall away. You know, I would say now, maybe we have to start picking our best 11 and start playing with it now, starting tomorrow, just so the lads just get a feel for each other, do you know what I mean? Leading to Millwall, so that as soon as we go to Millwall, the chemistry's there, everyone knows how everyone plays kind of thing. That's what I would do, you know, because obviously, I think there's three more full Borough Team 11, I think there's three uh, under 23 games, I believe the... Full Borough 11 would probably most be Akron Stanley tomorrow, Rochdale on Tuesday night, <coughs> Sunderland on Friday night. <coughs> I believe that's that's how it would probably go. It might change, it might not, but I believe that's how it's probably going to go down. Um, but as Borough, like I say, it's not been a bad pre-season for us. Two wins, two defeats. <coughs> Again, to another one, my throat's killing me. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Obviously, when Borough started off their pre-season football, we obviously were in Austria against Sturm Graz. They beat us. And then we went to Spenny Moor, we beat them. We then played a team called SV Sandhausen, we beat them. And then just on the end of our uh, Germany pre-season tour, if you like, we actually come out with a defeat against FC Augsburg. 
And like I said yesterday, man, I left my thoughts about that game. So you guys can go check out the review. But yeah, in terms of that, two wins, two defeats. It's not been a bad preseason for us when you look at it really so far. You know, at least at least the brothers scoring some goals. Yeah, we're leaking goals, but as I say, it's preseason. And all the boys start getting feel for it. And I think this week is really the week that you'll see the boys, you know, really try and impress Tony Pulis because they know realistically there's what three three or four games now that's gonna be first team. And if them lads don't impress him now, they might not feel good about themselves going into the Millwall game because they might not feel like they're gonna get picked. So they've got to be fully on it, I believe, from pretty much tomorrow right through. So in terms of my team, I've gone with a team that I would like to see in terms of would I like to see this one start next season? If there's no other signings come in, possibly. It's a different formation to normal. It's a 4-3-1-2. That's the one I've gone for. Um, and I'm just going to get straight into it. So Darren Randolph will go in goal as always. Be back four. This is this is if no signings are made. Now I've seen people saying that they want to see signings for right back and left back the same because Fabio got gone. If Frank gets injured, who's going to step in? Well, in pre-season, we have seen Ben Gibson often go to that left-back position. Is he comfortable there? Can he play there? We don't know yet until we see him fully. Um, but he took the left back, you know what I mean? I believe that we are we are linked to a few, so you know, you know, we'll see what goes on there. But in terms of right back, 100 percent I think we need one. As much as I love Ryan Shotton, he didn't look comfortable enough at right back for me last season. I think that's why it's important that we bring in another one. But let's just get straight into it, because obviously we don't know what we don't know what formation's gonna play, obviously obviously as soon as the season starts. So back four is Ryan Shotton right back, Aaron Friend, Ben Gibson centre back pairing, left back is George Friend. On the right hand side of the three, Triore in the middle of them, Paddy McNair. On the left, Stuart Downing. The number 10, Johnny Allison. And up front, it's a duo that I've been banging on about for weeks because I think it would work. It's Patrick Bamford and Ashley Fletcher. <coughs> I think them two lads there up top, uh, they will score those goals. Right? They have got pace, they've got flair, they've got skill. Do you know what I mean? They're hungry young players. They want to get on the ball and actually show someone, show up with Tony Pierce and the rest of everybody else who probably doesn't rate them exactly what they can do. And I think them two together will just complement each other. I really do so. I say that's my team. Let me know your score prediction down below in the comment section. Let me know your starting lineup in the score in in the comment section down below. If you go into the game also, let me know again in the comment section down below. All my social medias are also down below. So yeah, go and check all them out. And like I say, my score prediction for tomorrow's game: Accurate and Stanley versus Butter. I'm going to go for a 3-1 middles, but I really want to see us really have a decent, you know what I mean, have a proper, proper decent result against a half-decent side. So, 3-1, but I'm buzzing for it. I cannot wait to, as I say, man, as I say, man, as I say, man there will be a vlog out tomorrow as well. So, tomorrow night when I get back, be a vlog out for you guys. But it's my birthday, so I'm going to go and chill out. I'm going to go and see some of my family and that, and see what the rest of the day has to bring. You guys take care. As always, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for the end of another video on the AJT YouTube channel. Peace out, up the butter, see ya.